you guys asked for the third base uh, preview, and you're going to get one, but I'm going to tell you right now, your guess is as good as mine. It's like deja vu all over again. My gut says Austin Riley, but don't discount Johan Camargo with his versatility in um, playing left, short, and third, and his he seemed to get his Kamar Goat back in Winter League, pimping the crap out of homers, making web gym type of plays. But also, Austin Riley seems to be working his tail off to revamp his swing to lay off that um, low and away off speed pitch that is his kryptonite at the moment. But he did a nice job in advancing that last year. And I think Austin Riley being 23 years old, giving us those fine tingling moments in the postseason last year and at times during the regular season last year. I think it's time for him to have that breakout year and he's a much better defender than I give him credit for. Quality web gym plays all over the place. I think Austin Riley and Johan Camargo are going to be key cogs in the 2021 Atlanta Braves because of Johan Camargo's versatility, switch hitter, and that not-so-secret weapon of the Chipper Jones magic is seemingly uh, working its magic already. Uh, he's been a sponge for Johan and Austin Riley. But I can tell you, uh, nobody beats those two guys' work ethic so far in camp. And that is definitely what you want. My big key for Austin Riley this spring is to see how far he's come with that uh, development of laying off that off-speed pitch because we know he can demolish that fastball and getting into hitters counts is going to be vital and something to watch in spring training. And for Johan Camargo, stop thinking too much. You know how you, you know how to hit, just stay calm, get into hitters counts. That's another thing we're gonna look for in spring training for him as well. Um, it's kind of, the, they're kind of the same person almost. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. I can honestly, See kind of a platoon, Austin Riley playing against right, uh, right-handers right and Johan playing against left-handers. And then you've got Jake Lamb, this is a sneaky solid pickup who was great for Oakland in their playoff run with uh, reaching base every single time and him revamping his swing and um, being a clutch defensive and bench piece late in ball games especially against right-handers and late-inning relievers with that high walk rate. I think third base is a, a mystery that I'm going to have fun unpacking because all three of these guys have the capability of taking over that job and not relinquishing it. And my gut says Austin Riley, just because of the leaps and bounds he took last year, yeah, the strikeouts were still there, but... Um, just getting himself in better counts and not being afraid of that breaking ball was a big, big thing. And you could see him, his work ethic just go up to a thousand and go on Camargo. So the competition is making them both better. And Jake Lamb being in there as well is absolutely incredible. And you can't discount Pablo Sandoval and the veteran uh, flavor he's giving the ability to pick his brain and brain and soak it up for the youngsters as as a sponge and I honestly I know I didn't give you an answer but third base is a definitely a fun uh, spring training battle to follow my gut opening day Austin Riley starting third baseman and Johan Camargo a big piece on that bench and Chipper Jones magic uh, and I bet you both of them I'll say both of them have 20 plus homers this season. That is my bold prediction for third base. Uh, as always,